What's up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Homebrew Subaru. In this episode I will be doing some wiring for my electronic cooling fans. What's up everyone? So like I said, I am going to try and wire in my electronic cooling fans. I have a um, thermostatic relay to install and you may have seen something like this before. It's just a kind of a relay pack, a couple fuse holders, a little uh, thermostatic probe that will go into the radiator and a bunch of the wiring to hook up to certain circuits. Uh, these aren't a whole lot to get installed. They come with the instructions. And uh, basically that's what they're for is wiring in aftermarket electric fans when you are swapping from a mechanical fan to electric. Because all RBs come with mechanical fans, but to get a mechanical fan into an S13 chassis is just not going to happen. So something else that I did get finished and I've been working on it all week for no reason. Uh, it's just a bunch of old hardware that I'm dealing with. But I've redone the entire computer here. Um, so the little the little computer that I had up top there uh, I had forgotten the password to it well when I went to go kick it on and try and play with it some more I realized the power supply was no good this unit I've had sitting around and I was like oh I'll just take everything I need off that that little guy and put it into this this full-size case and then I found out this one had a bad power supply so then I've got an even older machine with another power supply in it and believe it or not three out of three power supplies were no good so I went ahead and I ordered up a new power supply off Amazon just a cheapy uh, put it into this machine took the extra parts or the hard drive from the other machine put it into this one and uh, it, this is an old machine it's only running two gigs of RAM but I finally got a copy of Windows 7 installed onto it and uh, then I just decided, well, this old 720p 32-inch television that I bought like 10 years ago or something, it, it wasn't being used for anything, so I just decided it's coming out into the garage. <laughs> so for right now, it's a perfect little desktop for me to be using out here. Um, it's not very fast, and yes, I'm going to have to be a little patient for it. Maybe I'll do like a CPU motherboard RAM upgrade on it at some point, but for now... I have all my repair software on there and I can jump online to play music or get repair information or part information. So uh, I'm glad I got that finished. It was a it was a huge headache to get it to get it to actually work. Um, like I'm serious, every night I worked on this thing. And then just the last couple nights I've been getting the repair software downloaded, which is like six hundred gigs or something like that. So it's a massive program and it basically has its own hard drive dedicated just for all the files that it re requires to run so i'm just really glad that that's finished and it does look set up pretty good i'm not going to really be able to use the the uh, toolbox top of the toolbox as a as a bench anymore um so i'm just going to have to try and keep things reasonably clean and organized over there i've got my cooling fans already installed on the radiator i did that when i put in the rad uh, more so because they kind of got to go in at the same time as the radiator. Um, so the wiring for them is actually right out here. And this actually has the Subaru connectors on it. And I was thinking I didn't have the male end of the connector, but when I was going through the box, um, I had actually taken those connectors and put them in the box. I'm basically going to take those two harnesses for the fans and wire them over into this direction and I'll mount the unit somewhere over here. So this will basically activate the fans when this thermostat uh, reaches a certain temperature. Uh, it is adjustable, so there is a little, uh, kind of a little dip screw switch there that you can turn to adjust for the temperature when the fans will come on and off. Uh, I probably won't be getting into that today because I still don't have gauge <laughs> so yeah the card still doesn't have a cooling gauge hooked up and in order to set this up 100 percent i'm going to need to run the car and watch the temperature on the gauge and then have this thing activate when it's time 
even one of the circuits, the green wire is apparently supposed to go to the AC compressor. So if the AC compressor gets kicked on, the little module knows to turn the fans on. Well, I'm going to use that circuit and take it up into the dash and then put it on a toggle switch so that if I want to turn the fans on manually, then I can just hit the switch and they will turn on. But basically I'm just going to start, I'm going to lay out all the wiring that I need to get going in which directions I need. Um, I may start even crimping up some connectors and then I'll come back and kind of show you how things are laid out and uh, so you guys can get a better idea of how what the wiring is actually doing. Um, pretty straightforward to install and I don't imagine people would have a lot of issues if they got some aftermarket fans in one of these thermostat controls and just put it all into a car. I'm pretty sure most people that can work with wiring would be able to figure it out. Okay, so I quickly went ahead and fastened up most of the wiring. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the two fused circuits must go to the fans and two grounds must also go to the fans. So I attached two grounds to the bottom of the fuse panel. Um, one of the grounds, a smaller ground, has to go up to the relay and then the two larger grounds are going over to the fans. And then as the relay switches on, power will activate or go through these fuses and power up the fans. Now because I need the fans to actually push through, the wiring must be reversed so that polarity is reversed and the fans will operate in reverse. Uh, so you got to put the basically the 12 volt power wire to ground and ground to 12 volts and that will drive the fan motor the opposite direction putting the air through the rad. So I just kind of fastened this here. It's, it's kind of zip tied in place. I'll be able to make the adjustment or cut the zip tie and replace it however I like. I left the probe out for now just to do some testing. And the only two wires left to hook up are the green and yellow wire. The yellow wire goes to ignition power so that the fans will pretty much only operate with the ignition on. And then the green wire which was supposed to go to the AC compressor will eventually go to a toggle switch so I can turn on, turn on the fans manually. So I'm just going to kind of leave it like this for now. I'm going to kind of finish up the interior wiring another time. Uh, this is just kind of test it out and make sure everything's working properly. So I'm going to have to apply power to the yellow wire to make sure it's like turning the key on. And then I should be able to give power to the green wire and have the fans activate. So the first portion of the test is really quick. Um, just have to give ignition power and then giving the green wire power should activate the fans. And they come on, no problem. So these two wires need to be put inside and this one will eventually go to the toggle switch. So in order to get the fans to turn on by the temperature probe, we'll need to apply some heat to it because it's not sitting in the radiator and I'm not running the car hot. Um, this is just a test to make sure it works. There is a little dial on the module that you can turn uh, that will adjust the amount of temperature required for the sensor to turn the relay on. Basically, it's preset at 160 Fahrenheit and the range of adjustment goes all the way down to 90 Fahrenheit all the way up to 210. So, I mean, and I will probably get this adjusted somewhere closer to about 200, maybe 195, 200 something just kind of rated over the thermostat anyway. So all I need to do here is apply power to the yellow wire like we're turning on the ignition and then I'm just going to use my heat gun to heat up the probe and see if the fans come on. And there they are. put my hand on it. It is quite warm but just being able to heat soak the temperature back out of the probe and the fans kicked back off. So everything's working it's just the wiring needs to be finalized and there is a lot more wiring to do on the inside of the car. Uh, the probe will eventually go into the top corner of the rad here uh, basically where it can get good flow coming from the top hose and I think that should be a really good spot for temperature pickup. 
So I know it wasn't much of a video, but that is going to do it for this week. I probably going to spend my time on the interior doing some wiring next week, but I can't promise that I'll actually have a video up because uh, I know I have another job that I've kind of got booked in for somebody. So I may have to jump on that. And But if I have enough time, I'll get on the car and at least make something and upload. And realistically, uh, I kind of needed to get the fans hooked up because I can't really run the car and, and risk overheating it for no reason just to diagnose other problems so taking care of the fans and actually having something that i can switch on now um, will reduce that fear of something happening uh, gonna have to get the temperature gauge hooked up and as far as i know from what i've read um, you can easily wire the temperature gauge that's or the sensor that's on the rb directly to the s13 gauge at least so i'll have that functioning gauge and then uh, in the future if i want to redo all my gauges i probably will buy a temperature gauge like a 52 mil to put in there and just something else to add to the list is there's something drawing off the battery the battery keeps on going dead so yeah there's there's always going to be something to fix i think um but yeah if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button for me leave your questions and comments further down below and i'll see you in the next one